Hey, welcome back to my channel, Karina here. And if you're new, welcome, welcome. I am Karina and I love to paper craft. And today I am going to make crepe paper rosettes and embellish them as well. These crepe paper rosettes measure three inches. And for that, we will need, of course, crepe paper, the most important tool the mini attacher, fabric tag, some Nuvo drops, stickles, and some wooden chips, and also some spherical punch cuts. So now let's start. So the first thing it's that you are going to cut 20 inches a strip of the crepe paper. So I already have cut it out. Otherwise, this video is going to be too long. <laughs> okay, so let's start. So what we do is we pinch like half inch and fold eight times. It's one. Three, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna punch this five, six, seven, and eight. And eight, so here we go. Eight, and I am going to staple these eight folds. Then I continue doing the same motion eight times. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I am going to staple two and then eight more times. Fold and pinch two, three, four, five, pinching here, five, six, seven. And eight. Let's do it like that. Here's my pinching everything and eight. I might want to do something like that so I can. Okay. So now we are going to staple that section. Okay. So here's your rosette. And before I cut the edges, what I do is I place one of the circle punch cuts and glue them. And that will determine the true size and shape of the rosette. So do that here. Okay. So now I know that I have to Cut this extra, cut this extra, extra, kind of like extra. Okay. 
There we go. This is kind of hard to. Okay, so then I'm gonna glue a little bit more here. Okay, cool. Alright, now we're going to glue the other side. Cut a little bit more side with my fabric tag. By the way, I ordered the um, silicone glue from Martha's Creation. I cannot wait to get that. So um, I have heard great reviews about it. So I'm looking forward to try it. And okay, so I can use this side or this side. So I think I like the colorful side better. So now to embellish the rosette, it's very easy. We are going to pick one of these wooden chipboards and I'm gonna pick the butterfly because I love butterflies and uh, glue that butterfly with my fabric tag in the center and then in the center of this rosette I am going to add a jammy I'm gonna add this this one this is from Queen and Company and it's called Glitter Globes. It's kind of cute. Put that in the center. Okay. Put that in the center. How oh, how cute. It shines a lot. Okay, now I am going to outline the butterfly with Nova Drops and this is Caribbean Ocean. So we're gonna do that just to give it more dimension and to pick up this color. Just outline a little bit and then I keep going around. we go she's pretty looks pretty outlined now I am going to do the drops of carnation pink I'm gonna add a couple of circles around to make it fun outlining the edges of the circle Now it comes the nice part. Okay, my rosette is looking pretty here. And I am going to put some stickles and I'm using the golden rod on the edges. drops here and there. You guys can also use glue and then dip the rosette in glitter. I'm not doing that. I'm just taking the easy route using stickles. In the stickles not on the edge of the paper but close to it I like to see the borders so that's the reason that I do I do that okay so we have the rosette I'm going to carry it over here and show it come closer it's so pretty right 
Okay, so if you like this video, please don't forget to give the thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the description box below what you like and how easy it is for you to make this rosette. And thanks for watching and see you on my next video. Bye.